it's so funny these pants like i don't understand but wait i show you like guys i am not skinny eh? i mean you would say i'm skinny i'm not skinny eh? because i i have 70 kg today i weigh my slice jump on a scale i'm very sad and you know what is funky when i started this year in january the food deficit discover all that stuff uh -huh, uh -huh. calorie in calorie out mm -hmm, mm -hmm. it's like it's like a it's like a wow moment for like you know what i mean and then it's like i went almost 10k no not almost i lost 10 kg i don't in like in the middle of the year i had 10 kg down yeah like 60 62 and a half yeah something like this but i had over 63 i have 63 uh sorry i had 73 or 74 yeah, kg and you know what is hilarious funny and just like and sad also it's almost end of the year and i'm coming like to january like with the same weight almost yeah i stepped on the scale today 70 kg guys look at this these pants they are not mine they never been i got them as a present and i use them only for let's sit down to have like bigger like wider variety of pants than you see me every day with different clothes and i tell you the truth it's coming out now i sit down because my head yeah i i basically am in one pants five six days because i just go work and back and you know i and for, at home i have different pants this i have even maybe for a week uh, because they're just not dirty I just wear them underwear I change every day but yeah but for let's sit down I always swap switch, switch different pants because I want to also s you to see even on the thumbnail you see that I wear something else that the video is every day new yeah because I just want a millions of views and, and, and be rich and buy Ferrari and helicopter like a Roman Edward and nah, I'm joking so I'm not skinny the pants are just huge huge and they always been i got them from i don't know from who ah maybe from a uh, boyfriend from my sister he gave me many pants and these pants they are just they've been always big eh? they've been always big so and now you know the truth it's my honesty now you can laugh about me and you can say bad words and write bad comments i will keep my chin up anyway as you can see that my runny nose is better it's actually not here anymore and as you can see the way i am that the flu or cold leaving me it seems evening and mornings are different they are like hey i'm still here the cold uh, and a flu a cold cheers so the last two days today and yesterday you might not see it actually that high you see i think only until here today and yesterday keto diet yesterday i had a minced meat beautiful amazing yummy yums uh, cabbage minced meat okay, avocado today avocado wild salmon wild cold salmon creamy sauce avocado cauliflower puree i made and it was i just forgot to put that like olive oil I also have a nutritional yeast and I love to use them in every meal but I almost every time forget and then I just dig in like with just a tablespoon and eat it because there is a lot of vitamin B and I love it I love it I just want to say that I just ate like I'm two days yeah, and it just feels so good like yes I would like to eat that crab again the all sweet sugary stuff but As I told you before, like when I ate that sugary stuff and pasta, I was full and I felt also good. But it's nothing to it was nothing to compare the feeling like now. This is this was nothing. Like this was and it's like for a moment I forgot because 
I was like, mm, I feel also good. I don't have really like peaks and valleys, you know, and up and downs with the sugar. But yeah, I did not maybe the first one, two week because I was a whole month on like high carb diet. Also like not really processed food, but a lot of white sugar powdered to be precise. And the, the another two weeks, the last two weeks, they were like getting me there. Like I have so much acne. I just popping up like here and there, like some acne. I feel like it's, it's more from that carb diet. Plus that is like millions. When I look at the middle with the huge light, what is this? You can see so many little pimples here. So uh, I think my skin got worse on that diet. But God, no. Hey, who is it there in the fridge? There's a fridge behind you. If there is a poltergeister, do not play it. Hey, what? Do not play with me. Guys, can I tell you something? But you might not like me then. And I will have less views and less subscribers. I just want to say that I do not believe in poltergeist on ghost and this. No, it's just, that's just mind made, made up stuff. That's all. That's all, doesn't exist. Yes, when we die and there is a spirit like, but not like all the movies, nah, nah, moving stuff, nah, that's not true. Don't, but nah, no. <laughs> nah. I know many of you can tell me, hey, but there is this house and this and this, and nah, 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 that's not true. Not true. what I wanted to say just that uh, ah I got it that is just feels so good uh, on the diet I had again I bought like chocolate today 85% although I also like 90 they just don't have this type of in store 90 but then I buy the 85 and the 90 has more cocoa, 90% of cocoa, I mean, and and less sugar. So, and I like I like to have like a 20 grams piece every day after lunch because it feels like it makes like in my stomach, I don't know where, but somewhere like it makes like, like really a lit, like now you are full mate. And the cocoa was like so slowing down the process of like, uh, digestion and this is so cool but i still cannot say anything guys because i was on very high carb diet so I, this is my second day and i believe there is still glycogen i have still energy taking energy the part is still taking energy from the carbs i believe according to what all the doctors say that two three days in order to really deplete the body out of gly glycogen which is the store energy from carbs is it true And because I do not have any really high amount of carbs, like today, uh, because the AI did the recipe for me, it says 15 grams of carbs today, 15 grams. And 15 grams of carbs from cauliflower and cream. And Parmesan, I don't know if Parmesan has, and maybe this, yeah. But then I have the chocolate, <clears throat> and the chocolate has uh, like 20 grams. 20 grams of sugar in 100 and I had and I had 20 20 grams of sugars uh, in 100 grams of chocolate but I had 20 grams of chocolate so I had like a 5% of like uh, uh, I had like 10 where I had like a Yeah, if you divide it five times, is it four grams? And let's say five grams. So five, I had 20 grams of sugar today, which is a lot, but still good because I wanted to do max 30 grams, max, really max 30 grams sugar, no more. And I think I gonna, this, this, this will work. Max 30 grams sugar. Plus I do omat once one meal a day. So I think it should be faster for me 
to get rid of the stored glycogen. And I do really enjoy the omat. And it's just, I was thinking guys yesterday after I ate that meal, because you know my plan, because you watch me every time, that's what I say, welcome back, is it true? Let me know down below in the comment section below. You definitely hear you, I know. There is nobody coming back. <laughs> nobody like me. <sighs> At least I have this camera. Camera always watching me. Thanks. And I uh I don't know what I want to say. All is lost. Let's drink. Hey, tell you, I love flowers when they are dying. Like, not dying. We, we also die. But when they're getting also this shape, when many people just threw them away, I, stay, I say to my wife, everybody around me, stop there. We need to keep it. Another two weeks, it's just, it's just beautiful. It's, yeah. Yeah. I wanted to say something very, very important. And uh, guys, do you also have sometimes that stuff like when you're speaking or you, you, you're telling some story or whoever you're talking and you want to say something and, and then something jump into it and you do not follow the thought or it's like somebody is telling you and you have to answer something else. Doesn't matter. And you just l lose it. And then you have like little pain. It's like a little bit painful. It's like there was something I, want <laughs> I wanted to say. And I cannot live my life now in the next five minutes because I, I need to say it. This is like feeling inside of me. And I also sometimes have it when I'm thinking of something, whatever I'm thinking like, hmm. What are you gonna cook tomorrow or whatever, you know? <laughs> and then I'm like, somebody come to me, some, some, someone comes to me and talk to me and, uh, and I'm like, what I was thinking about? But I tell her something, I learned something like that. How to master it. Let it go. Now, really, if it, if it, wasn't important it will come back just believe in that process that's all and it most of the time it come back yeah. I just this 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 diet like this keto and you know I, I want I want to go max the 30 grams of sugar although uh, I know that keto can be up to 50 but still I, I like to go more down and that's what I wanted to say because I have the one meal a day you know the fast thing I do 24 and I really enjoy that like having that big meal that evening here I got it so I was gonna say that as, as I was starting about like hey I know you're watching me and you know my plan so because you might be new so yeah i try to do the keto thing like i actually found out that is that is already like people doing that it's called it's called keto cycle cycling cycling cycles cycling is something else huh? cycles keto cycles it's like seven days and one day carb like uh carb loading <laughs> Uh, and I was thinking to do something like a four and one, four and one, four and one, because this is like how I work. This is our shift. Like we work four days and one day off. And I was thinking to do this. Well, and I'm telling you this because yesterday after the, having the one meal, first meal and today, um, but yesterday I was thinking because I felt good. And I was like, but if I'm going to do it four days, like very strictly, like up to 30 grams of carbs, I really just gonna break it down again like the fifth day, you know, jump out of ketosis, like get rid of ketones and 
and then start doing it again. <laughs> so I was like, you know, maybe I'm not gonna do it because I just don't wanna lose all the progress already, yeah? Um, and then I had another thought and it says, Ma, you, you gotta do it. Do not forget, stick with the plan because do not forget that you left keto after two months because of the f not food not food boredom but it's like missing some carbs and stuff like that and then i went on carbs like for a whole month uh, very high and very crappy mm, so just uh, and the thought said like and you can bring the variety of there so make sure that that fifth day you don't eat you don't you do not eat anything what you eat on the four days or you're gonna eat on the four days so it has to be something like no processed food but pizza you know or 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 or, or like a pasta or pasta like a carbonara and yeah? it's just bacon but mostly it's just like cheese and, and pasta so something like really really different stuff or maybe some fruits salad i don't really eat fruits now so fr fr fruit stuff yeah or or you know if you want something sweet and try to avoid the white sugar and like but i i actually had a plan that i will not <laughs> try to avoid white sugar i just will eat whatever i want the fifth day but not overeat yeah like eat smoothly and nicely because the binge eating i do not have a problem with i believe the keto is just like fixed me like when i was doing the two months like even before i really was conscious about it like to not eat not have because i found out that i had the binge disorder yeah the binge eating if i google it i was like what is that wow that's me 100 percent. check it out it's crazy and then i since that i really took care and i it's months no way i do not have that Uh, so, to be honest, I really don't know, <laughs> I don't know, like, the fifth day is like, yeah, we'll see, I, I would like, I wish, but the food is just so nice sometimes, and I love food, I love food, I wish to, To not go crazy, it's just like if somebody bakes a cake and it's my fifth day, and I'm like, well, I take a piece. But piece, one piece or, or two small pieces or whatever, but not like a half of a baking tray. Because this is sugar, guys. I, I didn't want to say it months ago when I read all these comments, not under my video, obviously. But under other videos, there was a guy like talking about like, and mo not most, but many, many, okay, not many, but few were like very, very much the same. It's like, uh, I, it was something with Paul Saladino because he, he actually do basically keto or carnivore. Oh, I would say carnivore, but with fruits and dairy and honey. And there was like, some people writing like, like, uh, hey, I cannot start any sugar in my diet because it turns me on and then I can, don't know how to stop. And there was many of them. And I read it and I was like, that's interesting. I don't have definitely a problem with this. And yeah, I'm part of it kind of too. It's like, it really turns me on. It's really like when I have a piece of cake, I really admit like, my brother is like, I mean, I can, wait, 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 wait. I also, I have a very, what do you call it? Self-control. I really can do that. If I really want, I really do it. But lately, I'm like, no, just enjoy, relax. Come on, life is beautiful. As you're not being obese. Luckily, you are not sick. You don't have any disease. You don't have to reverse any diabetes. You do sport, not now, but you're going to do it. And you're just all good, yeah? Just come on, just one one piece. Take a 
three and maybe then four and if it's that is last two just finish them yeah because you do it every fifth day whatever but i also have that self-control yeah because uh, I, I, otherwise i could not do the dive but still i really we have at work like one guy and i just love the way he eats he eats everything but he's skinny he does sport and you can see that he's everything he has it like except soup yeah but he has like the main meal and then dessert every time sometimes a little bit more dessert and mostly it's like a carbs yeah uh, sometimes he just doesn't want to meat and it's like yeah but sometimes he, he has also the meat he eats everything yeah but and i just love this approach but when i watch him he i don't watch him yeah but when i see it because he's very close by uh, sitting by uh, sitting very close by and i can see that it's not even it's it's not self-control anymore it's some people you see effort you see like uh, i take a piece and then you eat things like mm, do you want to get a piece or somebody ask you know when i like uh nah 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 yeah i would eat but it's like i would not stop there yeah. no thanks it's like people admit uh, like admit that yeah like you know what i mean i mean i believe my brother is like he, he last time we've been with my mom and she made like amazing cake and i just like was i just kept digging yeah like and he was like one piece you know and then he left you know, what are you doing this is amazing yeah but i don't want it it's enough and he also looks like he's cool with that i don't believe him yeah i think he was like a super poker face but it doesn't matter but this guy maybe he suffers a lot inside and he's really want more and more and more but he doesn't seem it seems like yeah by the way he's 60 years old so i believe he's more established in whatever it is and what i try to say here i envy it i really am jealous like not jealous but envy i really envy that that there is like this yeah it's nice but every day he enjoys dessert every day because we have every day work and i do my diets like jumping out like, <laughs> like there is like months of like not eating sugar at all and then it's like whole months like brah, buggering like on like the sugar you know what i mean like uh, i just try to find a balance that's the whole point there but it's like still it's like woo, woo, extreme to extreme and i'm sorry i'm sorry that i call keto diet extreme or carnivore extreme because it is i'm sorry it is for me the way i look at all of it it's beautiful but it's all certain extreme because i really believe that if we have the right amount we could eat everything yeah? like the food were, I, i'm I, but i don't mean whatever the food pyramid is yeah like you have so much carbs little meat a little that no 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 maybe maybe all the same amount whatever you know like a carbs and 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 and, and, and or, or or carbs fat and and and, and protein or whatever uh I, I i do believe we could have like that white powdered sugar you know if you have like a piece of cake that day because it would not do anything to us if we also have like certain if we move certain way we we, we are keeping our body healthy and stretchy and running or whatever we do hiking or some few push-ups a day and we just have these like you know we just hitting the ground we don't use sofa we just use sofa only for like let's sit down episode here yeah? that's what i believe otherwise because the, the the food is out there i'm not saying it's out there so you should you should not eat it this is the argument nah that's not that argument yeah because when you go to the grocery store and you see like the, the huge shells and there is like 20 kilometers of like or 20 miles of shell whatever you want of shells like stuck with some crap food like processed food nope i'm not talking about that yes well if you really like that certain stuff because you grew up you know there is emotional bound then okay boy let get like these sneakers or here and there why not but one small sneakers yeah you know what i mean uh and here and there like sometimes 
uh, but not, I'm not talking about that. I'm really talking about something like when your mom or your granny just like buy like a, if it's possible, like organic bio flour, butter, sugar even, and I don't know, some chocolate or whatever, or cacao or whatever, like cacao. Or, or some fruits and make some nice cake yeah or make some pie apple pies beautiful I love it when I was in England I ate it every day I got so fatty it was so cheap in the store and I just ate it yeah I want to save some money and travel backpacker I had over 80 kg at that time uh, so if your family some of you or yourself you just make like home that cake and you just have a family at home and everybody gets a piece with whipped cream on the top or whatever, I believe that that's just okay yeah, to have like little pasta, meat, maybe some salad, and then the apple pie, afternoon snack apple or whatever, having some movement in the body. I believe that that's all make it, makes it well, yeah? It's just I think that we are, we are, uh, currently like in presently like in such a way that we really need that extreme like that carnivore that keto which is amazing diet yeah. look at me i'm on keto again yeah i was keto carnivore then i went to carb stuff and then i'm again i'm not even 40 yet years old but i'm really looking forward i don't think it's far away but the balance what that colleague from my work has like 60 years old i hope it's gonna be much sooner but I can see that the calmness and it's like eating this, enjoying and going home. For me, it's like I've done that too. Yeah, I also ate there. Yeah, so I I, I ate my ate my work. I I had the dessert, but then when we went back after lunch to the kitchen, we still had leftovers from the dessert and it was in the fridge. And yeah, then it's like it's hard to stop. <laughs> the sugar just turns me on. Ah, such addictive stuff, but amazing. Yep, I guess, no, I guess I know it has something to do all of it with our, the way we are and obese and fatty and this and that and like uh, so much sugary stuff is also our, the way we feel with our life, our job, our colleagues, our family and all this stuff. I feel good. Uh, at home and at, at work, I don't feel really stressed out. Sometimes in work, that's why maybe I don't look that obese. But yeah, it has a lot of to do with the mental state. Well, let me know down below in the comment section below what do you think about my video today about my talks. right wrong beautiful amazing ugly or what and please come back i'm not gonna beg you no please no way i'm just telling you come back uh, like yeah i won't ask you just <laughs> i will tell you this like button okay share the video and subscribe and I'm not, not, this is not a question, I'm not asking you, just do it. See ya.